Every video starts with an idea, and every tech topic I cover comes informed by decades of experience. We can best understand the present and the future by understanding the past. I first build my video ideas on paper. I can't resist real notebooks and journals. Then I transfer them to a document. I have to plan everything in advance to get the exact result I need. This means hours of writing and researching. I don't like writing just at the desk. I need to keep changing my environment or moving around the studio. I also like to utilize a little help with my research. For all of this, I need a computer that feels great to type on, has AI to assist my research and writing even while offline, holds its charge for a long time, and doesn't weigh me down. Of course, I went with an AMD Ryzen AI laptop for this. Thanks to AMD for sponsoring this video. This is the Swift Edge series of laptops. This thing is a beast. It's got the AMD Ryzen 7 8840U processor. That's a Zen 4 with eight cores and 16 total threads, provi providing a ton of performance and it's their new, it's their second generation NPU or AI processor series. This thing is so thin. I, for the power that's packed in here, this is tiny. One side, we've got two USB-C style ports, full size HDMI, USB-A style port. On the other side, we've got micro SD, headphone combo jack, USB-A, Kensington lock and power indicators. Honestly, that's a good amount of ports, all things considered. I, it's so light. This thing is supposed to be a powerhouse and it feels like a tablet. This is crazy. You've got your usual paperwork. This thing has 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5 memory, as well as one terabyte of storage built in. We've got a very slim USB PD power brick. This is 65 watts of USB power, ready to charge it super fast without issue. This is crazy. This laptop is built for AI powered workloads with the co-pilot button right on the keyboard. AMD second generation NPU or neural processing unit for AI acceleration and cool effects to make my video conferences look more professional when I'm working on brand deals. The writing stage involves meticulously checking to make sure any technical details are explained clearly, but pacing is moving quick enough that no one gets bored. I consider all of the retro tech angles I can approach a video from to add context and then start planning my B-roll. I want everything to look like an 80s and 90s dream, like what you always imagine stepping into an old video game commercial to look like. I plan the composition, lighting, and so on in advance. The keyboard is gorgeous. Backlit keyboard here. Really clicky, satisfying keys. After my script is generally finished with some initial shots planned, it's time to set the scene. Best described as a cyberpunk workshop crossed with an arcade and a video rental shop, my space is full of 80s, 90s, and early 2000s goodness and is inspired by both reality and fiction. I've got my work desk section equipped with multiple OLED screens, audio and video equipment, then transitions to my analog video art setup and into my mini painting and craft section. I've got my cyber control center and of course the retro gaming corner. This huge 150 pound 37 inch Toshiba CRT with component video is one of my most prized possessions along with the BVM, of course. I usually spend a little time cleaning up my leftover projects in the studio, then start planning where each of the shots will happen. Close up and macro shots of a product tend to happen in my game corner, as, so I can play with the big neon lights as accent for the shots. Bigger A-roll or larger product shots tend to happen in front of the desk areas to be less branded and show whatever I'm working on at the time. Taking my script with me and adjusting, adding notes, and marking shots off is crucial here. So battery life and portability of my laptop are incredibly important. And the AMD Ryzen 8040 series processors make for laptops that have incredible battery life, just like this one. 4x3 is my ride or die. It works perfectly on beautiful CRT displays, centers your attention on modern displays, and works beautifully to respond to comments while you watch on mobile or take advantage of picture-in-picture -picture mode. I shoot with 4x3 frame guides on my camera and monitors, giving me room to pan and scan as I need, but focus and composition stays based on that sweet, centered goodness. Every video gets written twice, the second time being during the edit. Resolve edits my footage like a dream, and the AI acceleration in this AMD Ryzen 8040 series laptop saves me hours when cleaning up my face, tracking objects, and upscaling clips. 
These new processors have up to 60% more AI engine performance than the previous Ryzen 70 40 series processors. Oh, this is an OLED panel. My other favorite spec of about this laptop that we're gonna see here in just a sec is the screen. Obviously we have the processor with the blazing fast AI capabilities, but this also has a beautiful 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which is my favorite aspect ratio, OLED screen and 3200 by 2000 pixels at 120 Hertz. This thing is gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna provide a great workspace for video production, content creation, that kind of thing. We've got a Ryzen 7 badge, two Bla True Black 500 display HDR certification. We've got some information about a 1440p webcam on it, Windows Studio effects, and HDMI 2.1 output, so you are kitted out for future of displays. Dehancer and my own custom looks help establish my retro visual style. I'd run every video through a real VHS tape, but I do have to balance my retro style with the visibility needs of modern content. So I've crafted a collection of looks that blend modern needs and clarity with the degradation and characteristics of analog video. Plus, it helps that I integrate real analog video into my work as well. Gotta tie it all together, of course. Chromatic aberration, neon lining, film grain, plus a lot of custom-made analog video effects and transitions all build a cinematic world that makes every video feel like a continuation of the last. If you really want to make your footage look like a damaged VHS tape, check out my Voxicon VHS Resolve Pack at glitch.mov. With the introduction of ABC testing to YouTube, my thumbnail workload has tripled, which means accelerating Adobe Photoshop's generative feel and subject detection is crucial to spit out all the thumbnails the algorithm machine demands of me. There will be more and more AI-based apps available for use as the tech keeps moving and they will require a dedicated AI processor for the best experience. With Ryzen AI, you will be ready for what is here and what is to come. I can't wait to see how my workflow will keep improving. I was kind of nervous about the portability of a 16 inch laptop. Most of the ones I've used before were bulky and heavy. This is about as slim as it gets. Like, I'm not kidding about it. It's like tablet-like form factor. Whether you're looking for future ready solutions in gaming, content creation, productivity, or professional applications, an AMD Ryzen AI laptop or desktop is the ultimate solution. Once my video is exported, I can't let this beautiful 120Hz OLED screen go to waste. Streaming with the onboard AMD AV1 and HEVC encoders, making whatever I want to stream look beautiful, and playing some games to end my day is the only way I know how to relax. Once I've had a break from the edit, I can return to it with fresh eyes and give it one last polishing pass. I've made it no secret that you can't just slap on an effect on some footage and expect it to actually look retro. Creating the 90s tape look is an evolving process that starts with your very idea and ends with your final polish on the edit. You'll notice I don't always use this look. A standard screen capture based tutorial doesn't make sense to keep in 4x3 and crop half the screen off for instance. Go into this with intent, study the real source material, and make sure you're equipped with a high performance but affordable computer like this Acer Swift Edge laptop with Ryzen 8040 series AI processor inside. Check this video here to see my actual export settings for Resolve or click this one to see how to make your audio perfect for your videos. And most importantly, remember to be kind, rewind.